Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be making some end credits. So at the end of your map, they've finished everything. Uh, we've got to give them something. It's always disappointing when you finish the map and nothing actually happens. So in this episode, we're going to be doing some end credits. So let's grab the coordinates of this block here. Fill, tab, tab, tab. Well, we'll have them. And I'm going to go all the way over here out the way. And this is going to be our setup. Setup. Okay, let's get a block on top of there. Now, in the interest of speed, we're going to do this first command slowly, but the next three afterwards are going to be so similar, we're going to cut and paste them and just make adjustments. So we're going to summon an area effect cloud at those coordinates. Now that's on the floor. I'm going to raise it up to about 76, so I've added 20. And we're going to have to give it some information. Well, first thing, I want its custom name to be visible. Otherwise, we won't see the text. Uh, it's an area effect cloud, so it needs a lifespan. So I'm going to give it a duration of about 2000. And I want to be able to target it as well. So let's give it a tag. Tag everything. Maybe that should be a tip video. Tags, uh, let's call it credit message. Okay. Uh, I think the last thing is just then the custom name. Custom name. And this is the bit where it gets a little bit, you know, lots of different uh, characters. So I'm going to do apostrophe, apostrophe. And in there, curly brackets. First thing we go, we're going to do is the text. So speech marks, speech marks, colon, speech marks, speech marks. It's going to be text. And I'm going to say thank you for playing. But I want to make some changes to that. It's a little bit boring by itself. So I'm going to have a comma, speech marks, speech marks. And I'm going to say color equals green. And let's change a few other things about the format as well. So let's make it bold. Speech marks, speech marks, colon, speech marks, speech marks. So I'm going to say bold. Now here, since it's just a draw or false value, we can actually remove these two speech marks and we can just say true. So bold is in speech marks and the true is not. Now I'm going to do the same for the next one as well. Speech marks, speech marks, colon, and I'm going to say italic. Well, I don't want italic, so that's just going to be false, comma, speech marks, speech marks, colon, underlined, after the colon, I'm going to put true. Okay, let's try that out and see what we get. Now, it's probably too high for us to see, so it's about here and about 70. There it is. Thank you for playing. So here is the general idea. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be teleporting the player very slowly down and it will look like the credits are rolling up okay that'd be nice if we could just remove that so luckily we've tagged it so let's just do remove and we can kill any entity with the tag what did we call it credit message done okay well it is up there and now it's not. So we're going to have four little entries. You can have as many as you like. Um, let's control middle mouse press to copy that entire block and the data. Let's go in there. It's always active now and it's a chain. So let's remove the underline. Uh, we'll keep italic false. We'll keep bold true. Or should we remove the bold? No, we'll keep bold true. We'll keep it green. And let's change the actual message. Thank you for playing. I hope you enjoyed it. And let's change the height. Now I'm going to take it down by half a block. So from 76, I'm going to go to 75.5. Done. And now I'm going to copy that one and put another one down. 
Okay, so what should we do here? For one, let's not have bold. Let's get rid of bold. So we go to the comma. Let's get rid of bold. Don't need two commas, only one. And I'm going to change the color to gold. Okay, and let's change the message. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, here we go. What we all want. Don't forget to... Ah, now it's gone red. The reason it's gone red is because I've used an apostrophe and it doesn't like it. We need to escape that character. And we can do that by popping in backward slash. Which, if you don't have it on your keyboard, some people don't, you can press Alt and then 92 on the numpad and you'll get that character. And we also want to make it a bit lower. So let's drop down by a whole block this time. Done. And control middle mouse. Let's copy that. Keep the goal. We don't fall. Don't forget to. Well, we know what we want them to not forget. Like and subscribe. There we go. Point. We don't want it in the same place though. Everything else can be the same. So let's drop it down by half a block. Done. Now make sure there's nothing up there. Let's kill them all. Make a new one. There we go. Let's go and have a look. Ah, okay. Thank you for playing. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Seems good. And now we need to make the player do that. Scroll down. Okay. So I'm going to use an armor stand. Now, if you remember, we don't have to. You can use a marker. But probably better in this situation since all we're going to do is move the marker ourselves. We're not actually going to be relying on its gravity. We're not going to give it any armor or anything strange like that. So let's summon an armor stand. And we want the same coordinates. So let's say done. And let's go back to the very first one and let's get its coordinates. Okay. Copy. But I don't want to be in the same place. I want to be a couple of blocks away from it. So this is positive Z. So I'm going to come this way slightly. So negative Z slightly. So negative Z, let's say 17. Let's come two blocks back. And we might want to go a little bit higher. So I'm going to summon an armor stand there. And like always, tags. I'm going to call this one credit viewer because this is where this is what I'm going to spectate. So we're going to be viewing the credits. We don't want it to fall, so no gravity. We want control of that. I don't want to be able to see it, so it's going to be invisible. And, B. and we probably are going to want to change its rotation, but for now we won't. I see. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's say done there. Which way are we facing? Let's look at our your and our pitch. So basically both are around zero. So if we're looking this way, we we would want minus ninety zero, minus one eighty zero, ninety zero. Let's force the rotation anyway. Rotation, let's spell that correctly. It's an array and naught f, naught f. Okay, and I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to make it visible. This is the, this is why I like to debug using armor stands because you can see where they are. Okay, let's press done and let's make sure everything is dead. And I'll tell you what we'll do as well. Let's copy that. Not only will we destroy credit message, but we will destroy credit viewer as well. So let's make sure everything's dead. Summon all. We have it. There's our armor stand. So this is where we're going to summon and spectate from. Okay, it looks like it's in the right sort of place, and then we're going to be slowly going down. Okay, right. Now we want to set the game mode for all players. Because so we're going to assume that everyone has completed the map. So game mode for all players. So that's spectator for all players. Done. 
and I'm going to put a redstone block here. Let's get these coordinates. Fill tab top tab. Let's copy those coordinates, and we're going to pop a redstone block there. Set block there. Redstone block. In place. That's going to be our timer or our controller. That's that's going to be what controls us descending slowly. So what's going to happen now? We're going to have four messages an armor stand is going to appear we'll be put into spectator and we're going to set a block okay now we're going to make this multiplayer friendly and so we're going to use it it's slightly janky solution because you can only spec you can only force one player at a time to spectate an entity so we could here set ourselves into spectator like we are and then force just one player to spectate that stand. But we are gonna just add it to a repeating command block. Uh, so it's gonna pick players at random and just constantly add them to spectate that stand. It's a bit janky, but it works. So first thing we're gonna do is set up a clock. Scoreboard, objectives, add, clock. It's a dummy. Okay, we've got a clock. Let's uh, pop down a command block and uh, we'll make it needs redstone. This time it certainly does. And it's going to be repeating. And we are going to scoreboard players add our old friend fake player clock one. Done. Okay. So create the message, set the game mode. Set the game mode, yeah. Create the armor stand that we're gonna be viewing through. We know it's there, so let's set that back to invisible and then start running this, okay. We're gonna be counting fake players clock score. Done. What are we gonna do after that? Well, let's set a sort of timer. Execute if score fake player clock matches um let's pick something random let's pick 100 ticks so that's five seconds so if it equals five seconds or longer dot dot 100 or higher we're going to run set block and we want to set that redstone block back to white wool so let's actually grab the cords you know you're safe if you do it that way. Okay, and we're going to set that block there to white wall. So this will stop the timer running. But if we're going to stop the timer running, it's still going to be set at 100. So what we need to do after that is we'll make this conditional. So this will only run if the previous command did. Let's do scoreboard, players, fake player, scoreboard players, I always get these around the wrong way, set, fake player, what score, it's clock score, I'm going to set it to zero. Okay, so when this runs, we get a redstone block here, in fact, let's just grab a redstone block, and let's test this. So it should run for five seconds. This will detect the score is too high and replace that. And if this replaces that, this one should say, oh, I can run and reset it to zero. So let's check again. One, two, three, four, five. I think there we go. That wasn't too bad. Right, that seems good. And if that is resetting to zero, we're going to assume that they have seen the credits. So let's make this one conditional as well. So if they have seen the credits, let's put their game mode back to something. I'm going to pick creative. Okay, so set white wall, reset score, put player in creative. Let's also teleport the player somewhere. This little space here will do. That redstone block will do. <laughs> Fill, tab, tab, tab. So 
So this is where they're going to teleport after viewing the credits. Let's get one of these, pop it down, conditional as well, set them to creative, teleport all players to that place. Done. Okay. So let's have a look. Add one to the score. If the score equals 100, stop the timer. If we stop the timer, reset the score to zero. If the score sets to zero, put all players into creative. If the timer goes to zero, or if all players are in creative, teleport them all to that point just over there. Okay, next. This one is not going to be conditional. This is the janky workaround. So we're going to spectate at entity tag equals credit viewer. And we have to have a limit on that. Limit equals one. So as long as there's only one credit viewer, which we've only got one, that's fine. At all players. Now you can only have one player here at a time. So we have to have limit equal one. So what I'm going to add to this is sort equals random. So it's going to pick every player eventually. But eventually it's so fast in computer terms that it's going to pick them all pretty much instantly anyway. So all players should now be spectating that armor stand. Okay. And one more, we want the armor stand to go down slowly. So execute as entity tag equals credit viewer at itself, because we want to get some relative coordinates, run TP yourself. And where do we want to be? Well, we don't want to move it on the X or the Z. We just want to move it down slightly. So let's try minus 0.05. Okay. So let's kill everything just to make sure. We set up four messages. Then we set up the armor stand. Then we put ourselves into spectator. Then we power this line here. This starts a clock running. When the clock equals 100, it stops the clock. If the clock stops, we reset the clock. If we reset the clock, we put all players into creative. If we put all players into creative, we teleport all players to our location. And then as long as the clock is running, everyone is forced to spectate the armor stand. And as long as the clock is running, the armor stand should go down very slowly by 0.05. Okay, I'm always worried about this sort of stuff. Let's have a look and see what actually happens. Well, oh, we almost got it perfect. I didn't expect it to work so well first time. Um, I think our time was a bit off. I think we stopped a bit too early. We'd like the text to go off the top of the screen. So let's let's say 140 here instead. So we'll be going down for a little bit longer. Okay, let's kill everything. And let's start again. Thank you for playing. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe when it go off the top. Okay, well that was, I'm amazed. I'm amazed it worked out so good first time. Now what I want to do, is pop up behind it. So where are we? About here. Let's go down here. Now if I just plum, 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 if I just go up here, oh I think we got I think we got right inside it. Okay, that's no good. We want to go behind it. So probably here. Now let's clear my inventory. And let's get the wand. Okay, well, the wand is from um, World Edit, so don't expect to be able to do the wand. I'm only using it to do a little bit of faster editing. So I'm just going to select that. And I'm just going to select that. Okay, let's go back up and have a look. 
Oh, that looks nicer already. Okay, thank you for playing. Hope you enjoyed it. Right. Let's kill everything. Kill. Thank you for playing. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That looks nice. And well, okay, not too bad. Tell you what we should do though. We should take this out. Let's go to there. Obviously, if you don't have well done installed, you can just build the wall yourself. Let's go a little bit higher, get a little bit further out. Just to make that wall bigger. Okay, there we go. How does this look? Kill, done, and go. Ah, oh, much better. Thank you for playing. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That looks like rolling end credits to me. Okay, and then when we finish, we, we come back to this little point we marked. Obviously, you could take them back to the beginning of the map or, or throw them outside, anything you wanted to do. All you have to do is change. Where are we? We've got um, reset the score. So set that to white wool if it equals 146. Reset the score if that works. If we reset the score, we put them in creative. If we put them in creative, we teleport them, or we do whatever command you like. Okay, well, let's, let's make sure I didn't break that. Let's run it one more time. Always good just to kill everything first. And thank you for playing. I've enjoyed it. Your game mode has been updated to spectator mode. Okay. Now that, let's remove that as well. That's probably running off the game rule. Game rule send command feedback false let's try it one more time much nicer there we go thank you for playing hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe okay and there you can put so who made the map you know you know what you can do you can put anything you like all you have to do is make more of these little messages and then just tag on the end bit at the end and uh, just Summon your armor stand a little bit higher than the messages and just stop when the armor stand goes past the messages Let's do one quick test just to see if we can literally just change this from armor stand To marker and have it make zero difference. Let's try Because markers are better if you don't need the the things that an armor stand can do markers are better Let's see what happens. I haven't tested this. Let's see what happens. So we're just going to do marker instead. Kill everything. Okay. Oh, well, we do have a slight problem. I'm not going down anymore. It should still kick me out after the time. There we go. So it seems that it doesn't like marker in this situation. So maybe for this one, we do actually have to use the armor stand. Kill everything, run it. Perfect. Okay, we fired around at the end there for a little bit. It's always fun to test. That's how you learn. And that's how we make some. That's my bump. There we go. And that's where you make some simple little rolling credits at the end of your map. It's always nice to have feedback. And I tell you what, it's so disappointing when you complete a map and you get nothing. Just, just that alone. You know, that makes me happy. So I'll see you next time. Bye.